always keep an eye on the coat stand? Oh, yes. Well, when the coal delivery came, a client came out of the chambers and stopped me from seeing the boy who brought the bucket of coal. You don't think he would have taken advantage? You never know. Okay. Until next time. With pleasure, sir. Right, there might be some problem. Now, where is that coat stand? Can't really see it, can I? Oh. However. Yes, Dr. Watson? No. Thank you, ma'am. No problem, my angel. No, oh, and we are going to be called my angel each and every time, aren't we? Best not to stray off in that direction. Uh, is there anything else I can... These paintings are suggestive, <laughs> at the very least. Yeah, that's not our problem. Oh, here's the coat stand. Nothing I can examine. Remember, if we are, yeah, probably just here, then we shouldn't stray off in that direction either. Now, here's the burner, and that's the coal. What did, he, did she call it? I feel like it's something else I can... He's got big feet, that boy. Is it darker? Or is it just me imagining that there are darker tracks? It's like I can... I can examine her bonnet. Really don't want to. Um. Well, how do we go about this business then? Okay, we did have. A lady at the. Clinic. And I can't shut the doors. Okay. Now where could we find the cold man? And there's the brothel. There's the logic. Let's go over to the clinic and see if we can talk to what was her name again? Let's see if we have any dialogues we can use. Um, Margie, Margie the Nutcracker. Perhaps we are able. Now we are in the middle of the night. Oh, there is one or two lodgings. Let's talk to Mr. Good evening, Doctor. My name is Doctor Watson. Pleased to meet you. Good evening. I am Dr. Gibbons. Likewise. I have come to see you about one of your patients. Margie goes by the nickname Nutcracker, who gets her prescription from the clinic. She's a lady of the night and is afflicted with a venereal disease. I know who you're talking about. Indeed, Margie has syphilis and is being treated with mercury. Oh, Do you mercury. Have her address? No. And for your information, she left London for good three days ago. She felt threatened. Oh dear. Who's Margie threatening Margie? But by who? I believe that Margie was particularly scared of a terrifying man who attacked her once. Yes, Did she say the name Paisa or Paitha? Unfortunately, she didn't give a name, but she described a man with shifty, rat-like eyes and a mouth twisted in a sinister grimace. Mm. I would say that he's the... Did Margie have any idea where this man who terrified her so much might be found? No, but she told me that another girl who'd been attacked uh -huh. like her had told her that this man worked in a cobbler's run by an old Israeli. Also, she saw him again last week the night of a big fire. She told of going to see the fire like most everyone else in the area. 
While there, she recognised her attacker in the crowds gathered at the warehouses. There was no mistake in a face like that, she said. She <laughs> kept an eye on the man the whole time the firemen were working in order to avoid him. Okay, so we do have two connections Goodbye, to Gibbons, the and Jew. Until we meet again, my dear colleague. Um... We need to talk to the cobbler about the leather apron. This interview with the doctor revealed an important fact. Leather apron could not be the Bucks Row murderer. That's true. According to Margie, the villain passed most of the night of the crime at the fire. That is he true. He could not have been at the scene of the murder at the moment it was committed. He is nonetheless a dangerous character. Yes. You are so right. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, question is, should we get back to... Hmm, is there anything else we can do? While we're here, we are at the clinic. We've talked to Lucy, and we have been at the brothel. We have been at Finley's place, and we have been over there. Should we? There's no deductions to take from that, I suppose. Nope, everything's totally clear. And if anyone didn't see how we did the uh, deduction, the last thing. We had the bruise was caught by hard pressure with the fingers and then we have the killer's left hand prevented the victim from screaming. The killer strangled the victim with his right hand. But the question is still, is Nichols' murder, Pauline's murder, right-handed or left-handed? We don't know that yet. But he's a strong man. So far so good. Now, should we go to the cobbler again? I think it's over here, but it is in the middle of the night. Hmm. Oh. Still closed. And I'm not totally sure that we are on, on the correct track. I have nothing to ask. Well, I could. <laughs> The strange thing, did you see a blah blah, leather apron, blah blah, you know what. Now what would I want to do in these streets? Good day, Sam. Tell me, is it? I'm on duty, sir. No, she's not losing. Now let's see, can I go back, oops, can I go back to... Why can't I go to uh, that one? Um, there aren't anything special that I can ask or see. Hmm. Map of London. Oh, I must say. Baker I have Street. no reason to go there. Okay. <laughs> I need to go somewhere. Perhaps I should go over here again. I'm not really sure why. What do you want, Doctor? No. Nope. Thank you, Finley. At your service, sir. That's not even uh, interesting at all. Oh yeah, we do have that Doctor. That strange tenant. What could he possibly be doing? Well, you never know. It's a bit dark. Hmm. Now I'm not totally sure what I could. Could I? Yeah, we could talk to the policeman. That might be a good idea. Because
because we do have that good thing to tell him. Mm, the night is cool. What a horrible summer we have had. Does the name Tumblety mean anything to you? Not at all. But if you like, I can make inquiries. That Fine. would be nice. Why not? One never knows. Oh, well, we shouldn't talk well, about Leather Apron. Hmm. God save the Queen. There's nothing I can do more here. Okay, so we have started some inquiries. And I'm, I'm a bit odd that I can't go this way. Well, I suppose I'm not. Don't need to. Let's do it. I think it's that this is the only street that we are going to. I would love to go and watch that way, but you don't need to go that way. That's true. Checking out London. Oh yeah, we have the cane problem as well, don't we? We have the cane problem and we have the soot problem. Oh, I forgot about those. Now where could we find ourselves bit of a cola. We don't know anything about cola, do we? Can't... Don't have any documents about that. Coaling. Do we? Let's see. Crazy Jew. Hmm. Prefer lodgings. I'm just trying to do it as quick as I can. There's nothing there. Um, discover the woman. Great firehouses. Again. South Key. <coughs> Yeah. Let's see. Um, I need to get some reference to some sort of coal guy. Don't really have much, do we? Oh yeah, you didn't get to see the conclusions as well. Might as well show you. Um, yeah, these are the the ones. And this one did not go well. Okay. Okay. Didn't see that. We also had some other deductions. That's not reports. The notes don't contain any new items. They're only meant to expound upon the facts already stated. Uh, these are the reports. We have also discussed the, the different types of uh, motives. And that's not really anything we need. Do we have any items? We have the broken glass, but that doesn't matter. And on the back, this one we don't have much. Hmm. So how do we find a code? I really don't like that. 
We can't just go around looking at people's feet. Tell me, is it? Now nah, time to chat, I've got business, got it? Okay. Yeah. Come, my lord, a little coin. Oi. Now we might colder. Taste that. It'll liven you up more than the clinic, and not nearly as dangerous. Hmm. Now it stands over there. I am mainly thinking about if there are any coal cartridges or stuff. 